Okay, now we're going to make a video on using graphing to solve systems of linear equations. And just to review a couple vocab, we're going to go integer is a number with no fractional, which means it's not a fraction, or decimal part. Then we have slope, the steepness, and direction of a line. And the y-intercept is the x, oh, excuse me, the y value when x is 0 and the x-intercept is the x value when y is 0. Okay, so those are four vocab words. Now what we're going to do is try to solve systems of linear equations and we're going to figure out if they can be solved with graphing or not. So the first one and they have y equals 4 and 2x plus 3y equals 6. Now what they did here is they did a couple things. They took this equation and they plugged in 0 for x and solved for y. They plugged in 3 for x and solved for y. So 2 times 0 is 0 plus 3y equals x. So when we do that, 2 times 0 plus 3y equals 6. We know that this becomes 0, so 3y equals 6. And the inverse of multiplication is division, so do we divide both sides by 2, by 3, excuse me. And so these cross out, so y equals 2. So that's how they got 2. Now the next one is they did, they said x was 2, so x was 3, excuse me. 2 times 3 plus 3y equals 6. So 2 times 3 is 6 plus 3y equals 6. So we have to remove the 6 to get the variable by itself. These cross out. So 3y equals 0. So we know that y equals 0. And that's what they got. So just so you know, that's how they solved it. So when we go to graph these, we're going to graph y equals 4, which we know that is on the y-axis. So that is a line that is straight across. Then when we want to, we want to graph this one, it's 0, 2, and then we have 3, 0. So the first line will be straight across. And then we have this line. We are going to connect these dots. Okay, so this is where they intersect. These two lines intersect. So we are going to figure out what this point is. It's 1, 2, 3. So x would be negative 3, 1, 2, 3, 4 it would be x and y. So that's our solution, okay? Now, I am going to show you with this particular one, so you can see it can be done two different ways, is I'm going to take this 2x plus 3y equals 6. Now we can put it in this slope y-intercept form and so we're going to subtract 2x from both sides. So it's going to be 3y equals minus 2x plus 6. Now we need to get the y by itself. So we're going to divide both sides by 3 because 3 times the inverse is division. 
these cross out y equals negative 2 over 3 x plus 6 divided by 3 is 2. So another way to do this is once you put it in this form, and I'm going to use um, a different, you could go up to, right? And we are drawing this line, right? We go up to, that would be the y-intercept. Make sure I can, you can see this. You're going to go down 2 and over 3. So you would still get the same line right here so that you can see that there's two different ways to do it. So if you would rather do it in the slope-intercept form or you can plug in for values, just so you know there are different ways to do it. And another thing is you're going to want to label your lines so you can get keep them straight and this equals y equals 4. So this line goes this way and this is your negative 3, 4. That's your solution. Okay? Now, we are just going to use this format to do the next one. So here we have x, y equals 1 half x plus 2. So when we graph that one, to me, is you're going to go 2 is the y-intercept. And then you're going to go up 1 over 2. Up 1 over 2. If you can do three dots, it's better. You can get a more stable line. So then I'm going to draw the line. Okay. And I'm going to write y equals 1 half x plus 2. Now, the next one is x, which is 0, plus 2y equals 8. So if 0 is x, then 2 times 4 equals 8. This one, if x is 8, 8 equals 8, so y has to be 0. So now we're going to plot the points 0, 4, 8, 0. And I didn't do the best job of connecting these, so I'm just going to make this a little bit. No, no, it doesn't have to be a thing. So I just want you to see the points. They actually connect down here, which is better. I'm just going to make this one thick line. And then here, I'm going to draw this line. And this one is going to be y, this is going to be x plus 2y equals 8. Now the point it is right here, so we go over 2, 1, 2, 3, and we go up 3. So up over 2, 1, 2, 3, so this is 2, 3 is the solution. Okay? Now the last one on this practice is here, they give us two tables to use, all right? So two times x is zero. So five times two equals 10. X is five times, two times five is 10. So this has to be 0 because 2 times 5 is 10 equals 10. So this is 10 plus 0 is, is 10. 4 times 0 is 0. So 3y, so 3 times what equals 12? 3 times 4 equals 12. So y is 4. So x, 3 times 4 is 12. So 12 plus 12, 12 equals 12. So 3 times 0 is 0. So 4 times 3 is 12, plus 0 equals 12. So now we're just going to graph the different lines. So the first one is 0, 2, 5, 0. Now we're going to draw a line. Okay. 
in this one we're going to call 2x plus 5y equals 10. Now, the next one we're going to do is 0, 4. 0, 4. Then we're going to go 3, 0. So we're going to draw a line through this. Okay. So right here, it's a fraction or it's a decimal. So that means that there is no solution using graphing. Okay, you want to be able to have two solid numbers. Now, I want to just make sure you understand. So I am going to redo the 2x plus 5y equals 10. All right, so if I put x, which is 0, so 2 times 0 plus 5y equals 10. So 0 plus 5y equals 10. So then we're going to have to, this crosses out, right? So 5 divided by 5, this crosses out. y equals 10 divided by 5, which is 2, okay? So that's how we got this one. Now the next one is 2 times 5 plus 5y equals 10. So we knew that 2 times 5 is 10 plus 5y equals 10. So if we subtract 10 from both sides, these cross out 5y equals 0. So y has to equal 0 because 5 times y is 0. Okay? And let me get another piece of paper. If we do the next one, we have, okay, good, you can see it, 4x plus 3y equals 12. So 4 times 0 plus 3y equals 12. So we know that 4 times 0 is 0, so I'm just going to go 3y equals 12. 3 times y, the inverse is division, so we're going to divide both sides by 3. These cross out, and y equals 12 divided by 3, which is 4, which is right here. The next one is we're going to do 4x plus 3y equals 12. So 3, 4 times x, which is 3, plus 3y equals 12. So 4 times 3 is 12, plus 3y equals 12. So we're going to subtract 12 from both sides. These cross out, these cross out, so 3y equals 0. So y has to equal 0, which is what they got. So just so you know, that's how they did the math. So I didn't want you to be confused. Okay, so I am going to then go to the next one. And you're going to figure out which one has a solution and which one doesn't. So for me, I'm going to see if I can get a plain piece of paper here. I'm going to doing the y equals mx plus b formula. So this one, y equals 1 half x plus 2, is in the y equals mx plus b. Okay? So check, I can graph that. Now we have 5x plus 3y equals 15. So we have to get rid of 5x on both sides because we want these to cross out, 3y equals minus 5x plus 15. Then we're going to, this is, we want to get the y by itself. So we are going, this is multiplication, 3 times y. So we are going to divide both sides by 3. This crosses out y equals negative 5 over 3x plus 15 divided by 3 is 5. So now I'm going to graph this one and I'm going to graph that one. So here 
it is not going to let me graph really pleasantly on this. So let me see. Let's see if I go. I'm gonna do. We're gonna do two. See if we can graph this one. Two. We're gonna go one over two. One over two. Okay. So that is one line that we can graph. So the next one is five. Okay, that's the y-intercept. And then we're gonna go down five over three. Okay. We can. Well, I'm happy. Okay. So five over two. So here I'm gonna put, so we have we know which one's which. This equals y equals negative five over three x plus five and this one is y equals half x plus two so where this line intercepts I don't, it's like, let's see, it's right here. So I question if that's the solution. Then the next one is x is two. So we know that that is just a straight line here. X is two, okay? So that intercepts right here when this is x equals two. So it is, 2 over 2, 1, 2, 3. So 2 over 3 is a solution and this one when they intersect it's not it's like partial or fractions so there's no solution by graphing. Okay, I hope that makes sense. So again, this is this is one half plus x plus two, and this one is x equals two. So you can see the lines, and this one is negative five three x plus five. So. When we look at the points, the one with E that intersects these two, that's right here, and the one that intersects for this one is right here. Okay? Let the teacher know if you have any questions. And pause and repeat if you need to.